Hey, Neil Smith here. In this video, we use Mercator sailing to solve for true course and distance to a destination, given the coordinates of the start point and the destination. Come on, let's get this. Mercator sailing, practice problem seven. A vessel at latitude 49 degrees, 45 minutes north, longitude six degrees, 35 minutes west, heads for a destination at latitude 25 degrees, 50 minutes north, longitude 77 degrees, zero minutes west, determine the true course and distance by Mercator sailing. So the first thing we're going to do is write a problem number. Problem seven. And now we need to figure out little l by lat one minus lat two. So we're going to get latitude one, which is equal to 49 degrees, 45 minutes north. 49 degrees and 45 minutes north. And then we have lat two, which is equal to 25 degrees, 50 minutes north. 25 degrees, 50 minutes north. Now we need to figure out which way we were going. We went from 45 north to 25 north. So from 45 to 25, we were headed south. So that's our label, south. And 49 minus 25, we can do that. We, we can't do 45 minus 50, so we'll have to borrow one from here. So we'll turn this into an eight. And this will actually turn into 105 because when we borrowed one degree, we got 60 minutes. So that's 105. So now we got 5 minus 0 is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. We have 55 minutes. And now 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. 23 degrees, 55 minutes south. We're going to change these degrees into minutes. And to go from degrees to minutes, we multiply by 60. 23 times 60, 23 times 60 equals 1380. So we get 1380, 1380 plus these 55 minutes. And that will give us our little l. So little l is equal to 13 plus 55 is equal to 1435. 1435, and that's minutes south. That's our little l. Now what we need to do is find the meridional parts of these latitudes. So that's m1. And we jump over to this table. We go 49, 45 north. 49, here's 49 degrees. And then we find the minutes on the side. So 40, 49, 45. Cruise down to 45. 45. Okay. So 49, 45. 3, 4, 3, 3.6. 3, 4, 3, 3.6. 3, 4, 3, 3.6. Okay, 3, 4, 3, 3.6. Excellent. So M2 is equal to 25, 50 north. So we find 25. Here's 25 degrees on top. And we cruise all the way down to 50. 25, 50. And so, yeah, this... 15 comes all the way down. So 1594.2. 1594.2. 1594.2. Then we subtract these two. So we get 3433.6. 3433.6 minus 1594.2. 
1,539.4.2. We get 1,839.4. 1,839.4. This is our little m. And now we find d low by longitude, by finding the difference between longitude 1 and longitude 2. So let's find longitude 1 is equal to lat long 6 degrees 35 minutes west. 6 degrees 35 minutes west and and then long two is 77 degrees zero minutes west 77 degrees zero minutes west and that's long two so let's figure out which way we were going we went from six west which is over here here's zero here's the prime meridian here's like right around 6 west, and we went all the way over to 77. So we went west. So it's going to be west. But we can't take 77 out of 6, so we're going to we're going to flip these two to find the difference. So we're going to have 77 degrees minus 6 degrees and 30 five minutes so we are going to grab one of these now we're going to grab one of these minutes so that would end up being a six and this will end up being 60 and then 60 minus 35 let's just do it longhand why not borrow one ten that's five five four three two 25 minutes and this will be six minus six is zero 70 degrees, 25 minutes. Let's bring it over here. Keep it all straight. 70 degrees, 25 minutes west. We're changing these degrees into minutes times by 60 because there's 60 minutes in one degree. So 70 times 60. 70 times 60 equals 4,200, 4,200 plus these 25 minutes is going to give us our D low. So D low is equal to 4,225 minutes west. Now let's figure out what quadrant our course is in. Put it in quadrantal notation. So we went south in L. So we're going south, right? South, north, east, west. We went south, and we also went west. So we're going to be over here in this quadrant. And this angle here, when we figure out C, it's going to be this angle. But the question is going to ask for CN, which is this angle all the way from north and including that. So we'll have this 180 plus our C. We'll have south course west will equal CN. So CN will equal this 180 plus our course. So we'll get that in a minute. Let's get our course. Course is equal to tan negative 1. D low over M, which equal tan negative 1. Our D low is 4225, 4225, and our M is equal to 1839.4. 1839.4 is equal to, we'll do this math. So shift tan negative 1. 4225, 4225. Where's the backspace? There it is. 4225, 4225 divided by 1839, 1839.4. 66.47 
four. Course equals six, six point four, seven, four. Now we can plug that course in here. So 180 plus 66.474 CN is equal to, you can say plus, I'll bring that up there, plus 180 is equal 246.474. Four. This will be one of the answers we're looking for. Now let's find distance. Distance is equal to little l over cosine c. So this will equal little l, which is up here, 14.35. So 14.35 over the cosine of c, which is here, 66.5. Four seven four, so distance will equal. Punch it in the calculator. Fourteen three five one four three five divided by the cosine of sixty six point four seven four. That's equal three five nine five. Three five nine five, and then there's two zeros, so we're good. Three five nine five. It's gonna be in miles, and this is one of our answers. So now we can go to our answers, see if we got it. This is seven, so we got. What do we get for our courses? Two four six point five, two four six. Ooh, that one's looking good. 246.5, and our distance was 3595, 3597. That's pretty close. That's like a rounding error. Is anything else close? This one, but the course is way off. I'm going with A. Let's check it out. 7A. Yeah, right here. 7 is A. So that was Mercator Sailing Practice Problem 7. Thank <laughs> you.